There's a woodpecker going to town at the suet that I just put out on my patio. Oh, he is pecking away. I'm glad he's enjoying that winter treat. It's so important to put suet and like winter bird food out for the birdies in the winter because it's so much harder for them to find food, the ones that don't migrate and like stay in cold areas. Welcome to today's video on that note. It is 9 a.m. I always feel so motivated to get up earlier on days when I film, which is wonderful because today is December 1st. Happy December 1st, happy Vlogmas. I will not be doing traditional Vlogmas. I have done that before. It is so fun, so rewarding, but so draining. And I just don't think I'd be able to do it with my uh, schedule and my mental health, where you basically like film every single day and then upload what you filmed today, like tomorrow. But I do wanna upload as often as I can. And right now I'm doing every other day in December. So a video is going up December 1st today, which is the Q and A with Bennett. Check that out if you need something to watch. And then the next one on December 3rd, I'm hoping to get my journal collection video up, but I still need to edit that. And I am currently working on filming my decorating for Christmas videos. So even though I am filming December 1st today, I know that this video won't go up until probably this weekend or next week. But let's say I get into like the groove of things, then maybe I'll be able to catch up and do real-time Vlogmas. But I'm gonna try to prep some content, film every single day and upload as many videos as I can with no like promise or obligation so that I don't drive myself crazy having to get a video uploaded and putting that in front of other priorities in my life, such as relationships and my health. But what I was getting at is that today is the first day of the month. So we are doing a monthly reset, paying my bills, budgeting. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a little bit about how I budget and how much I pay in bills. But the first day of the month is very sacred to me because it's such a a like cleansing and reset of my space and my daily routine and rituals. So I do have laundry going. I have a lot of laundry right now. Just everything is piled up. I don't think I did it over the weekend last weekend, which was Thanksgiving. So now I just have like towels, clothes, all of my yoga clothing, my bedding needed to be washed. So we're doing a ton of laundry today. I do need to pay my mortgage, pay all of my bills. I have it set, I like it. I like paying everything at once at the beginning of the month. I know some people like to spread it out or have different deadlines, but I just like getting it all over with and then doing it again the next month. So I'll take you through like what I have to pay, how much I have to pay a month basically to live the life that I do. Oh, I also wanted to share with you how I reset my journals for each month. So I do have like a monthly planner, not like a planner with my events, but like a YouTube to-do list planner. And I'll take you through how I like reset journal pages because I know a lot of people are interested in that. And then if my journal video is up, please check that out. I have worked so hard. That video took me like four hours to film. It was three and a half hours of footage and I got it down to an hour, I think. Please go watch that video. I do a full, full collection of every single journal that I have from like when I was very young to today. But something I do every single morning is enjoy my hot cup of coffee while doing my morning crossword puzzle because I am a grandma basically, but it's so fun. I usually do that and then respond to emails and DMs and get all of the morning on red messages read and responded to. So let's get today started. Happy December, happy new month reset. Happy Vlogmas, here goes nothing.
I have been editing this journal video for the last like three days and then today I started editing at what like 11 the last time that I shot that clip it is 3 16 and I just finished I need to watch it one more time to make sure it is perfect but oh my gosh that took all day and now the Sun is basically gone and I was going to shoot more content today and I feel like I can't so please watch that video because I've put in hours of work not only filming it all day creating short form content clips of it but editing this it was a monster and I think if you watch it you'll realize how much I put into editing this I'm not complaining like I love it but I just cannot believe that like five hours had gone by so quickly if you ever need the time to pass fast to like a flight or something edit a video it'll go by so quick I just finished prepping all of my December pages for how I journal, plan, and budget, and I wanna share with you kind of how I do all of that before I make it messy by adding in details. First, I just have my December planner. I got this for like $5 at Target. I really like it because I just like having a monthly spread. I know it looks pretty empty. I do work from home most days and I like to go to yoga. The only things that I include in here are holidays, birthdays, and appointments. So here we have holidays, birthdays, appointments, and then in orange, I prep what day I'd like to post what videos. I just have the next week planned out, permanently planned. So that's why we have like the Q and A that went up today. Journal video, hopefully on Saturday. The video that I'm filming today, I'd like to get up on Monday. I'm currently in the middle of decorating for Christmas and I'd like to get that video up on Wednesday. But other than that, that's all I have so far in the planner. I also got this from Target. I really like the material. It's like that fake animal leather and it's just a huge pack of this really nice notes and to-do list. This is the November one. I put like videos that I like to do things. I did not stop at my PO box that whole month, wow. But I put like videos that I need to film and edit and post. I was pretty overwhelmed with what I had to do in November so I just wrote it all out. But if I have any brand deals or notes from different companies for what they want me to include when I film with them, I'll put it here. I should probably fill this out and then show you. But this really helps me stay organized with what videos I need to post film items I may need to mention in videos or any brand deals coming up I put here and then down under here we have my budget journal so I do have a full video on how I budget it's kind of old but I'll link it above because all the info is still accurate but I will be doing an updated one in 2023 because this is actually the very last empty page that I have in this whole journal so when this is full I'm going to do an updated reset budget journal and it is time because when I started this budget journal, I was paying $4.75 a month in rent, shared rent with a roommate, and my monthly bills were minuscule to what they are now. Like if you watch that video that I posted, it's called how much I spend a month to live or something like that, but it's basically sharing with you what I'm about to share with you now, which is how much I spend a month paying bills. Not like frivolous spending, but like this is how much money I have to make in order to live the life that I do. And it is very outdated because now I have to spend a lot more money, partly due to inflation, partly due to being 27 now instead of like 23, and then a big part due to owning a house. And I have a lot more bills that come with that. Oh, which remind me, I forgot to add one to this list that I'm about to show you. I guess there are two videos because there's that old video and then like the budget video that I just mentioned. The layout is the same, but I'll go over it again with you quickly in this video. If you have any specific questions though about it, please let me know now so that when I film the video for 2023, I know what to include. And I know you can do this on a laptop. You can have an app do it or Excel or 
You don't have to do this, but I like seeing it visually. I like writing it down. So this is what works for me. Marnie is my helper today. For years now, I have just been doing what I call an earned and burned page. So over here, you can see we've got December, we've got November behind me, October, September, and so on and so on. But for December, I have on this side of the paper, everything that I earn will go here. I'll write like, I don't know, a thousand dollars here, and then I'll write what it is. Every single dime that I make, I will lay out. Then at the end, I'll add it all up and put it in a big box, how much money I earned that month. Then over here, we've got the burned side. So this is how much money I am spending, but not like for fun. <laughs> the colors make sense in my mind. It doesn't have to be like this, but since it's the same every single month, I have kind of what I do need to spend. And this is the same every month. You know, we've got my mortgage, Excel, Xfinity, HOA, Security, Apple, Hulu, PicMonkey, like all my subscriptions, my dental insurance, health insurance, state farm insurance. I do get lashes every two weeks, so that is a monthly expense. My credit card bills, it's a lot. But this system is what works for me. And since it is December 1st, I've got to pay all of these. Might as well do it with you and I'll show you how much money I have to spend a month. It's not fun. I don't like knowing either, but I have to know so that I plan accordingly to make enough to cover and then some because I do have frivolous spending a little bit. I do go out with friends. I have a bit of spending money. So let's get these bills paid. And then one thing I almost forgot to mention and I left this blank because I don't want to share this part on the internet, but I always document how much money I have at the beginning of the month in my checking account and my savings account. I like having that at the top of every single month just to see kind of the average of where both of those accounts lie. And now for the not so fun part, I have my laptop. Let's spend some money and pay some bills. I will take this opportunity to say that I am so thankful that making YouTube videos is part of what helps me pay my bills. So thank you so much for watching. It does make a difference. It does mean the world to me. And I really appreciate your support. And anyone that has ever clicked on a link of mine or bought something under my affiliate link or used a discount code, you are helping me do this part once a month. And I could not do this without you. So thank you so much. And if you want some discounts and if you want to support me, I've got a bunch of codes and fun things down below ranging from deals on jewelry, glasses, skincare. My Amazon shop is full of everything in my house organized by category and room. It's a great way to put your money that you're spending not directly towards the company, but have like a portion of that go towards another person that you like or want to support. So instead of Amazon getting like 100% of your profits, they only get 90%. That was just an estimate, not totally true on the, uh, on the percentage. Okay, so we're gonna do my mortgage first. I always pay that one first and I like to pay it in order of importance. Not like I would ever not be able to pay my bills on time, but God forbid, like if anything did happen, I know that the most important ones that I cannot miss are taken care of. And I've thought about sharing my mortgage before I've thought about keeping it a secret. If you followed my channel for a while, you know that I bought this beautiful home in the summer of 2021. And I don't think I am ready or want to share how much I spent on the home, but I got a great interest rate. I put down over 20% of a down payment. And with all of that being said, I owe about $2,000 every single month for my mortgage. Technically it's $1,877.94, but I always round up to 2,000. Sometimes I do 3,000, 4,000, depends on where I am. But lately I have just been doing 2,000 on the dot. So I am writing down 2,000 in my budget journal and putting that through, I'll show you. I don't know, is this something that I'm not supposed to show you? Submit payment, mortgage, paid. Next, I like to do Excel and Xfinity. So that is my internet and electricity bill. I'm kind of curious, just because I am nosy, if you feel comfortable sharing, how much do you pay for internet or electricity or both? Because I definitely try to keep my electricity bill as low as possible. I'm just one person living here. I try to keep the lights off. I try to keep the heat down or not have it on, but I have nothing to compare it to, you know? I'm like, well, this is how much mine is, but is that high or is that low? I did an awesome job with my electricity bill though, because last month it was $117, but this month I only owe $67. Whatever I was doing, I was doing it right. So Excel is $67.46. 
See, it makes a difference if you turn off lights and don't have the heat on as high. So I'm paying Excel, confirm payment, I agree. Check, next, Xfinity. I definitely don't pay for the cheapest internet just because my job is uploading videos so i need to make sure that i do have quick and fast internet but i also don't pay for the most expensive one either i have like an average plan god i don't remember but it was like the second to cheapest or third it was like quick but not the quickest you know anyway i used to pay like 50 bucks a month and then it went up to 75. the thing with xfinity is they always change your rate without you even knowing. And then one day they're like, oh yeah, your rate went up and the internet just keeps getting more expensive. Now internet is $88.05. I feel like that is so overpriced considering I used to get the same internet speed for like 50 bucks a few years ago, but whatever. The next bill that I have listed is my HOA. So I do live in a gated community. I love it. I will pay every cent to have that security here. So it is $303 for my HOA. That's another thing I'm curious about because I have some friends that also live in associations and theirs is like so much more expensive or cheaper. Considering my HOA does all of the seasonal lawn care for me, like snow removal, leaf raking, lawn mowing, I'm fine paying them to do that for me, but I am curious like what other people pay. I also have my security system. Even though it is a gated community, I just like need that extra security to feel safe here. And for that, it is $64 a month and 50 cents. So a lot of the other subscriptions listed here kind of just are automatically taken out of my bank account throughout the month, such as Hulu, PicMonkey. Yes, I still use PicMonkey for thumbnails. Spotify. I do know that my car and home insurance was taken out today on the first. State Farm is like usually pretty quick about that. So I paid $172 for State Farm. My health insurance also was taken out of my account today. And for my health insurance, I pay $138.46. I also have dental, but I don't think that gets taken out till the end of the month. The other bills that I need to like manually pay right now though, are some of my credit card bills. Definitely watch my how to increase your credit score video. I'll link it above and down below because I have a lot of helpful hints for people in their young 20s that are trying to either immediately, short term or long term, increase their credit score. And something that I encourage and mention in that video is how you should be paying your credit card bills before it's due because you never know when they're checking that balance and it's not right after you pay it. So if you do have a balance sitting there all month, it can hurt your credit. I'm not actively trying to make my credit score high right now and it's actually like, I'm pretty content with it. And I just pay off all my credit cards in full every single month. So I know that I have two of my credit cards due on the fifth. It is the first right now, but I just wanna get it over with. Let's start with Amex. I'm a little bit nervous because I used this card to buy um, Taylor Swift tickets this month. So it's gonna be a higher balance than usual. It's definitely higher than I would like it to be right now, but let's make a payment. Okay, Amex is paid. I kind of don't want to tell you how much I just had to pay. <laughs> Gotta keep some mystery, right? So I decided not to share my credit card payments just because those do vary on my more frivolous spending from month to month. Like for example, this month I did buy Taylor Swift tickets, which is going to make my credit card spending seem a lot higher than it usually is. Not to mention, I did buy a ton of Christmas decor and a Christmas tree this month, which is about $300 in total for the tree, lights, skirt, stockings, stocking hooks, ornaments, outdoor lights, yeah. It added up quickly and that is also abnormal, but I did pay all my other bills, so I'm going to add up how much I spend a month on my mortgage, electric, water, gas, HOA, security, all my subscriptions like Apple, Hulu, PicMonkey, insurances, and all of that, and give you a general idea of how much money I spend a month to live the life that I live and basically survive. This is gonna be kind of tricky because Marnie is on my budget journal right now as she should be, as she always is. Literally, head is on top of all the payments I just made. She's gonna hate this, but I gotta move her just a little bit. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'll do this. No, you don't, she's going, mm, okay. <laughs> First, we have my $2,000 that I spent on my mortgage. We have $67.46 for Excel. $88.05 to Xfinity, my HOA is 303, my security system is 6450. So on different Apple subscriptions, I use like Lightroom, 
Tessa, Unum. There's another one I pay for too, but at the end of the month, that is 10, 20, 26 dollars. So I'm gonna do 26. I spend $75 on Hulu a month because I pay for their live cable subscription. I know it's a lot. PicMonkey is $7.99 and that rate has not changed in years. I love PicMonkey, thank you. $10.74 for Spotify. My State Farm is $172.19. Health insurance, $138.46. Dental is 20 bucks a month, so really not bad at all. I spend $150 a month on eyelash extensions, which isn't bad. It's $75 every two weeks for a fill, I go twice a month, 150. I have a few loans out right now, so I have health debt, like severe, oh my God, I don't think I even told the internet what happened last spring, but I had to get a procedure surgery thing to remove something that turned out to be benign, but it was painful and scary, and the part that hurt the most is it was very expensive, like $10,000 expensive. I've got cheap health insurance, but it didn't cover that. Because here's the thing, when I bought health insurance, I never have issues. I never go to the doctors. I'm thinking I'll probably not need to use it. Like I'm fine. This was the year where I got a concussion, had that removal thing, like so much. Anyway, so I'm working on paying off that medical bill and I spend, I think I do 300 bucks a month. Yeah, so I pay 300 bucks a month to pay off that medical debt. And then speaking of concussions from last winter, I had to get a new car. I'm so upset about it because my old car was my baby. I loved that car and it was paid off. Insurance was so affordable, but life happens. So I'm grateful I was in a position where I could easily get a new car. But my new car loan is also $315 a month. I think that's everything, not including my credit card bills every single month. Anything that I spend on like restaurants and food, I put onto a credit card. So that is underneath like the credit card payment part. But everything that I just mentioned that I, Marnie is knocking over everything that I pay monthly for. <sighs> I'm like scared to know this, even though I literally just added it up for November. Like I know how much, it just hurts sometimes. That means bare minimum, without including credit card debt, if God forbid I just couldn't make a payment, I would still have to pay $3,738.47 monthly on mortgage, electric, gas, water, security, HOA, subscriptions, insurance, car loan, health loan, and lashes. It's not terrible. They do say that you should make, what, three times the amount that you spend which puts me at about $10,000 a month, which sounds about right. My income can vary a ton depending on how I'm doing on social media, if a video is going viral, if I have a lot of brand deals, or if I don't. I'll say the most that I've ever made online in a month is in the $30,000 range, which was unbelievable. And that was at my prime time, like 2020, 2021. And the lowest that I've made, ooh, do I wanna say this? I think the lowest that I made was just under $4,000 a month, which is still completely fine. And I save a lot and I've got so many different investments I could pull, God forbid, but it can really range, you know, literally anywhere from $4,000 to $30,000 a month. If you're going into social media, keep that in mind. But what this means is that when you are doing well and you're in a period of time where like the money is good, hold on to it so that you don't freak the F out when the money isn't there and that you know things on social media change quickly, the algorithm is always shifting, you never know, like the holiday season, social media creators usually make a lot more money because ads are putting more money into sponsorships and ads and brand deals and people are posting more because of Vlogmas. That usually means there is a pit point January and February where the RPM is just lower. Comes with the territory, really. I need to basically make about $4,000 a month just to pay my bills, not even, that's the cat tree. I feel like I have to mention that every time, but cat tree is being used right now. But that means I need to make about $4,000 a month just to pay my bills, and that is not including like food, grocery, gas, spending. Sometimes my credit debt can be kind of high. 
if I buy tickets to Taylor Swift, they can be really high. I went traveling a lot this year and I always charge it on my credit cards. One of my cards is specifically just for business and write-offs, so that can be kind of high. But the thing about money is it is frequency, it is energy, it ebbs and flows, and sometimes you gotta spend money to make money. I think that's my little rant on budgeting, spending, and how much I have to earn and spend a month, basically. I hope that you found this helpful, and I know that my little nosy self would really enjoy watching a video like this, so if you feel comfortable sharing, I would love to hear some of what you either have to spend or earn a month to pay your bills. I know this can be a taboo subject to a lot, but something that I try really hard to do on my channel is take away the taboo sense on a lot of these subjects that people can actually learn from. So I have a lot of financial videos that actually deep dive into stuff like this. If you're looking to learn more, I'll leave my financial video playlist above and down below, but it is just full transparency here because I feel like it's important to talk about this in some situations so that you know. Like if I saw this video when I was still living in my apartment, I was paying 450 a month for rent. When my roommate moved out, I was paying 900. 950 a month for rent and that was I mean it is a lot but now with inflation you see how like for a two bedroom it's probably in the 2000s, not 950, but it would have been really helpful when I was younger to watch a video like this and kind of see what I had to work up toward if I were trying to buy a house. Like I have a lot of videos on the home buying process and how much I've spent, down payment, inspection, fees they don't talk about, how much it costs to pay movers to help me move in. Like I, I don't wanna give away that video, but it is, I'm pretty sure like a six digit number how much I had to spend to buy a house, but again, that is really helpful to someone who is trying to figure out if they can buy a house. And I'm so glad that I did because I will say as much money as it is to spend a month, I am paying off a mortgage, which is better than putting my money into thin air, paying rent. And I firmly believe I'm spending less, less money now than I would if I didn't buy a house. So again, sometimes you just have to spend money to make money. Feels good that I got those bills out of the way. Now I can enjoy the rest of December and focus on posting content for you and hanging out with loved ones. I'm actually headed to Ashton's place tonight. I don't know how I do this, but somehow whenever I decide to wash my bedding, it somehow always lands on a day that I'm sleeping over at Ashton's so I don't even get to enjoy it. But yeah, I washed my bedding today and I'm going to Ashton's tonight. So at least tomorrow, it'll feel good to sleep in a freshly made and freshly washed bed. Bed is made. Not the best sunset tonight, huh Luna? That's okay, it's still pretty. I was hoping for a good one for the vlog. I guess there's no such thing as a bad sunset, right? Why? Why do you have to sit there? You know, there wasn't space for you there earlier. Did you move all the cactus over, all the cacti? Girl, you're not supposed to want to sit there because there's cacti there, but you'd much rather lay your head against the pillar of my telescope than on the daybed. You're so weird. Sunset is getting kind of pretty now. Oh my God, it's still zoomed in. Oh my God, no, get out. <laughs> I wanted to show you my December kind of layout of things that I have to do, to-do list. I don't know what to call it, but I just have felt so much more organized and relieved when I write it all out in this nice little pocket binder. And then I stick my planner in here too. And then I have my YouTube thoughts journal, which watch my journal collection video if you haven't yet, cause then you'll know all the deets on these. It's so nice to have all of that in here like this so I can just, carry this with my laptop and feel productive and get everything done. But I just added everything so far to my December to-do list and I'm a little bit overwhelmed. There is a lot and I'm going to share it with you even though some of this Maybe I shouldn't, as in, there's no contract, so I know I can. And I feel like as a content creator, this would be so interesting. Or like if you are curious how I prep or plan or work with businesses, 
this is that. And what's really nice is after each month, I just rip this. So I have like all the previous other months have been ripped off and it feels really nice to have a fresh clean slate. But for December on the right side, I have in purple to do so far. So, so far the only thing I really have to do is go to my PO box. And then in the light blue down here, I have two of the brands that I'm working with just so that I know I have to get those up in December. In orange, I have video planning. So we've got my journal collection video which just went up go check it out the video that you're watching my decorating for Christmas video usually there are like three to four videos on this page but since it's December and I want to try to do vlogmas in my own way I'm just writing down as many videos as I can I've got another journal video I want to do a night routine or night in my life like a Christmas winter one and then likewise for morning in my life I want to talk about how much money I make on OnlyFans currently and then I want to do another Q&A with Bennett I also thought it might be really fun to do a classic yoga challenge video with her since she and I are both very into yoga. I also need to start editing my 2022 recap video and make a little montage of some of my favorite moments from this year because that is going to be at the beginning of my 2023 goals and resolution manifesting video, which I need to start prepping some resolutions for. Down at the bottom part is where I elaborate on brands that I'm working with. So any deliverables, details that they need, things to remember before I film, I write out. And I am going to show you this because I don't think there's anything on here that they would be mad at me for showing. It's what you'd expect it to be, you know? So I'm working with this company. I have when they want me to post, how long the integration is going to be, some things that they told me to remember while filming. And then same for this company, two to three minutes, a bit about the brand, what type of content, like they want me to show the packaging, show it unwrapped, close up and on. They want me to try to put the brand in the title and then I receive a 20% discount code with this. So it's nice to kind of have this here so I remember before I film and I don't forget when I'm filming to mention a discount code or it's women owned or the four highlights of this vacuum. I mean, it's almost 2023. So I feel like it is no secret that when an content creator works with a brand, there are deliverables that they have. Sometimes it's very specific what they want us to say. Other times it's up to us. And I like having a little bit of an outline. It's still my own authentic opinion and thoughts on the company and the item, but there are some requirements that come with it. So that's what's coming up. I've got a cordless vacuum that I'm really excited about. And then some yoga sets, which come on, that fits into my brand so well. So I'm really excited for the yoga sets to arrive, but that is it. It feels really good to have December prepped, planned, laid out, outlined. Like I feel ready to take on this hectic, busy month because I am doing a lot this month with friends and family. I know that Bennett will be home again shortly. My other friends are coming home for the holidays. Ashton will be off for the holidays, but I also am putting a lot of work onto my plate this month with Vlogmas. I know it's not like Vlogmas, Vlogmas, but I'm gonna try like I'm trying to participate as much as I can so to me that's vlogmas and then just like closing the year and prepping for next year to a lot of people this is like a relaxing time but to me it's a very busy time the one last thing I did want to show you though is my budget journal that I have ready for next year it looks like this it kind of looks like those old little golden reader books it is a notebook from typo and i've been wanting to use this for a while i like it because it's pink like my other budget journal but she is ready to be my new updated budget journal for 2023 and so on a lot of my old budget journal like it's just inaccurate info now that i'm at such a different place in my life so i'm excited to get this one ready i'll probably do a full video on budget with me for 2023 so be sure to subscribe if you are not so you do not miss this video it is almost 5 p.m i know it looks a lot later because the sun set a long time ago but it's only 4 50 it's not even 5 p.m yet i am so close to being done editing that journal collection video so i want to finish that get that uploaded and try to get it scheduled for Saturday. And then I'll probably head to Ashton's at like eight or 9 p.m. So I do still have some time to get that video done, finish this video, fold all the laundry. Bear with me, I know we can do it. It's 616, I just finished the journal video and that is exporting right now. So fun fact, 
I have been using baby washcloths. Like this one has llamas on it to wash my face for a few years. I can't remember where I learned this, but it's so much better for your skin because baby washcloths are designed to be super soft for sensitive, fresh, new baby skin. And it does make a big difference, especially if you use the really soft side. So I can't go back. And if you struggle with skin issues, this is a really good cheap technique to try is switching over to baby washcloths. The last time I bought a new pack though, the lady at the Target register asked if I had a daughter. So <laughs> there was that. And then I had to be like, no, those are for me. <laughs> in your basket you got your basket yeah that's Luna's basket <laughs> I'm going to quickly take a bath and then pack and edit until I head to Ashton's and these cats think that they're getting in the bath with me I also really wanted to catch up on vlogmas videos so I'm gonna watch them on my phone And I'm back in PJs. This bamboo PJ set is my absolute favorite. I've had it for a few years. I worked with Cozy Earth in 2020, I think, and they gave me this set and it is so comfy. I'm wearing it because I washed it with my white sheets today and it is so soft. Fabric softener really makes a difference. I have to go to Ashton's in a few hours. I don't know what I'm going to wear over yet, but for now, I am going to edit this video in my Cozy PJs. I want to edit in bed but I know it's a bad idea because I'll never get out. But I want to end today's video. So thank you so much for starting December off with me. I hope everyone's having a wonderful holiday season. And I know this isn't like traditional Vlogmas, but I will do my best to post as often as I can in spirit of Vlogmas. Don't forget to check out the journal video that just went up and any other videos that you've missed. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day.